Hello collectors, in this edition of Diecast Important, we're going to be taking a look at a Diecast Masters Core Classic Series model. This is the Cat 980G wheel loader in 1 to 50 scale. This of course goes way back to the Norscott days. Uh, this was one of the first wheel loaders that was produced by Norscott and the Caterpillar license back in 1999. Now we have an updated version, of course, so let's go ahead and not waste any more time and take a look at the packaging, and then we will review the model. So, because it's a Core Classic Series model, it does come in the brown style packaging. You have the model front and center in the box, the description of the model here. Here is your item number, again, for reference, 85027. The Diecast Masters logo up here, the scale here. Again, if you're not familiar, this is just to signify that this is an adult collectible item. This number is uh, ages 14 and up is where this is primarily targeted for, of course, though. But uh, as all Diecast Masters models are, usually they like to market this towards people 18 and up. On the side, you have the Cat Core Classics. Again, same thing. And the wheel loader picture in black and white on the back. There are your specification details. If you're into that kind of thing, please feel free to pause the video right now. And you can go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this model on camera. And we will then take a closer look at it. These Core Classic Series models not only are made to the same um, durability quality as the Highline series models, but instead of coming in the tin, they come in this pull-apart style of plastic packaging, which makes it very simple and easy to get the model out. You never have to worry about breaking the model or anything like that. And of course, there's no twisty ties like the days of old, so all is well there. Also included is your catalog. And this is helpful because it shows the entire line of the Diecast Masters cat products. All right, so here is the wheel loader. Now, I said that this was an updated version of the 980G. This is right here. This is an original that I've had for over 20 years. Of course, this is the Norscott version here. And what I want to draw your attention to, if I may, allow me just a moment here is some of the subtle detail aspects that have been changed on the Diecast Masters new version. The first thing that you will notice immediately, and uh, this is something that I like a lot, if you look at the top of the cab, again, the original here is over here on your left. This is the Diecast Masters new one on your right. They've added a amber or orange working light. Obviously, you have your figure, Bob, in the cab as well. Also right here, right across the articulation joint, is a small yellow warning label, and that's on the other side as well. Not a dramatic change by any means, but again, it's just a subtle detail change that personally I and most collectors like because it's just, it adds to the immersion and the realism factor. Something else that has been monstrously improved well, let's put them back in the right position here, is the overall functionality of the loader arms. So let's go ahead and do this. Again, this model is about 21 years old. I purchased mine brand new in 1999. That is about how far it would go up. And as you can see here, the loader bucket doesn't like to curl back all the way. It kind of likes to go forward. And that's the extent of the lip. The lift height... So, let's see the improvement on the Diecast Masters version. That is quite dramatic. That is a major difference. Also, the bucket curls back all the way, and there's no deflection there either direction. And it dumps completely. So, to illustrate this change even more dramatically, let's bring in a Diecast Masters Western Star 1-50 to scale dump truck. For illustration purposes here, make sure that that's in the frame. You will never get anything over the side of that truck with the way this bucket is, as you can see. So, let's bring in the Diecast Masters version. And you are as good as gold here. No problem whatsoever. You have plenty of room to come up over the side and dump it. 
So there you go, collectors. That is a quick synopsis and review of the Diecast Masters Core Classic Series Caterpillar 980G in 1 to 50 scale. There have been updated 980Gs in the 1 to 50 scale line. Currently, the newest one that I believe is available through Diecast Masters is the 980M. We also saw a couple different 980Ks with this style of bucket on it and also with a smooth rehandling style bucket on it. But for me, the nostalgia factor wins out with this version. This is a 90s machine. I'm a 90s kid. It kind of just goes hand in hand. And also having the original growing up, it was so nice to see an updated version of this that functions properly. And of course, as the Thalcore Classic Series models, they are priced very, very affordably and a little bit less than the Highline Series models. So, again, the winner in the 980, the 980 Series, in my opinion, is the 980G. It wins out by just that much with the nostalgia factor. That's not to say that the other that the other 980Gs or excuse me, the other the other 980s like the M or the 980Ks aren't just as good, but it's just that 90s nostalgia factor that makes this one come out on top. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Take care and be safe, and we will see you in the next video.